today we are going to talk about an uh, example of MB expand which is a well-known uh, operator in KQL and uh, this basically helps us to expand nested JSON into multiple rows so that each row can be identified and any other conditions can be applied on top of it and to do that we will be using sign in logs so let us start type in sign in logs and the first thing we will do is take one to make sure that I take only a single row and we run this and once we run this the result should be appearing shortly here and we can also see the result is here and uh, when we expand the result set we going to keep scrolling down to find out a place wherein that has nested data inside it so we are going to pick conditional access policies which basically are many and apply it to each sign in we do and as you can see there are multiple number of conditional access policies available for each sign in logs but they are very difficult to read and understand um, based on the nature they are displayed here now to do that we will keep the same take one and in the next line we will be using mb expand and we'll be writing conditional access policies and uh, you can also see the moment i started typing it basically appeared in the intelligence so we should be hitting enter to capture the column name and uh, once we do that we should hit run once again and uh, as you see though we have taken one record right so ideally we should see only one but because we have used mb expand so basically we can see 13 expanded policies which are getting applied for each sign ins right now let us expand any of the record and once we expand this and keep scrolling down and slowly go to the same conditional access policy this time we will see the difference is it's not showing the entire array the entire array is converted into different column and then we can see the schema of a particular column and uh, let's say we see condition not satisfied condition satisfied and display name and any other details right so let us try to pick certain things from this so that we can make it more accurate so we do a right click on the right side of a column and uh, we choose the extend column and the moment we do that you can see basically the entire code is appended here all right now that's one thing we did and we would also add kind of condition satisfied right and what we would do is we will now manually type in to extend one more column all right which is called enforced session control so and that's another array right so we copy this and extend the same column with the similar manner condition access policies dot the column name right so in the previous two uh, columns you can see we have done a type casting and converted them to string but because this is another array inside this so we are not going to cast it and just to be more specific we will be projecting only the column which we have expanded so we project display name comma we project condition satisfied comma we project and for session controls and we just run the same all right now you will see the same 13 records but the data is trimmed only to project three columns now you can also see this another array and then this time we will be applying mb expand once again on the column called enforce session control and what will happen as you see there are columns which are having inputs in the array and there are empty arrays so once we 
run this right so it will basically discount all the empty arrays and only expand wherever data is possible so this is kind of a filter as well that was about can be expanded